Hey guys, it is already May and that means it's time for another weigh-in. So I stepped on the scale and I weighed You guys, 182.3. That is a loss of 8.4 pounds over the month of April, and I could not be more ecstatic, you guys. Like, all I'm gonna say is keto works, okay? When you actually follow the ketogenic diet, okay, you lose weight, and I am just so proud of myself. I went the entire month of April on keto. I didn't eat one non-keto thing. And you guys, you might be thinking, well, duh, Autumn, you're on the keto diet. You shouldn't be eating non-keto things. But like that pretty much hasn't been the case for like the past year. Like there hasn't been one single month, like the whole month, where I haven't had at least one non-keto thing. But not in April 2020 though. Like I'm back, I did it and I'm gonna keep doing it. Like this is nothing except more motivation to just keep going, to keep being consistent. Was I perfect? No, but was I consistent? Yes, every single day. Did I overeat on keto foods some days? Yeah, but did I figure out a plan so that I won't do that moving forward? Yes, it's not about perfection, it's about progress and consistency. And I can say with confidence that I am nailing those two things, okay? So I am just excited to feel like myself again. I am excited to see these results. This month I did a lot of different exercises. I started weightlifting more. I started yoga, just different things to work, I guess different aspects of my physicality and I am here for it. Let's see if we got that. Oh, we got that definition right there. Oh, whose clavicle is that right there? Oh, mine, you know? So I'm just really proud of myself this month. Oh yeah, and I lost like seven and a half inches, most of it from around my stomach area because that's where most of my weight is and that's where most of the change in my body is gonna come. As you can see, I don't really keep a lot of weight in my upper body. It's mostly in my back and in my tummy, okay? So like that's where all the magic changes are gonna be happening and I am okay with that. So my plan for May is just the exact same thing. Keep being consistent, keep striving to do better. I've been alternate day fasting all last month. I'm gonna be alternate day fasting for the foreseeable future. Like I absolutely love it. It really just helps me balance out my food cravings and the amount of food that I get to have on my eating days. This quarantine has actually been great for me because it actually has taken away all of those social situations and taken away the possibility for all that temptation. So I challenge you, if you're stress eating, if you're feeling bad, like flip the mindset, use it as an opportunity to be grateful that you're 100% in control of what's in your house and what you get to eat. That's what I did and I honestly think that that's what's helped. You can't control the donuts in the break room. You can't control the chips and dips at a party. But guess what? You're not in the office. You're not at a party, okay? You're at home. That means you can control everything that you eat. And I know this time is stressful, but also just know that we're gonna overcome it and you are in control and you have the power to make the choices that are best for you all day or day. And the results are speaking for themselves and I'm just so proud of myself and I want you to feel proud of yourself. Okay, so get in the comments. How did you do for the month of April? Was weight loss one of your goals? If not, what were your other goals? I mean, maybe people don't care about losing weight. Maybe you just wanna exercise more. Maybe you just wanna eat keto for a certain number of days in a row. Like, that's okay. All goals are important. And I wanna know what yours are and how you did for the month of April. For the month of May, my goals are just the exact same, to stay consistent. No crazy challenges, no crazy restrictions. Just eat keto as part of your everyday life. Exercise as part of your everyday life and see how it goes from there. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next month.